6, it's not hard to see the revitalization to Kansas City's downtown. New apartments and hotels are popping up all over, but new at 6. Despite the growth, there is still one thing the city needs to help encourage businesses to move there. It's one of the reasons Starbucks passed on bringing nearly 1,000 jobs to the area. 41 Action News reporter Nick Starling joins us now. Nick, you found out that the issue is part of a long-term process aimed at bringing sustainable success. That's right, Krista and Mike. It's not hard to see all the new success coming to downtown with a streetcar, new apartment buildings, but one thing that is lacking is new apartment space or office space, rather. The sound of construction rings throughout downtown. You'll see signs of progress everywhere. We went 30 years without a new hotel downtown. Now we have 14 new hotels coming online. But is there enough office space to attract new businesses? Gib Kerr is the director of capital markets at Cushman and Wakefield and says adding office space is the last piece to the downtown revitalization puzzle. Office always follows rooftops or follows population. And as more and more of the young talent uh, move downtown, uh, in a tight labor market, that's where the companies need to be in order to attract that good talent. According to Casey's Economic Development Corporation, Starbucks looked at several factors other than office space, like workforce, the airport, and political climate, to name a few. Late spring, Starbucks notified the city they were moving on. So we looked at how much office space there is, and according to the Downtown Council, from 2013 to now, there's about 470,000 square feet of office space built, with about 1.5 million square feet planned. We're kind of late getting to the game here in Kansas City compared to some of our peer cities like Denver, but it's happening now. And that's key because Kerr says for developers to build new office buildings, it's a matter of confidence. They've seen how successful the apartment projects have been, how successful the hotels have been, and uh, how successful some of the recent office conversions have been as well. So uh, now I think more developers are confident that a new uh, office tower could fill up as well. And developers tell me there's about three and a half million square feet of office space that went towards apartments and the vacancy rate rests at about just under 9%, the lowest in quite a while. Reporting live in Kansas City, Missouri, Nick Starling, 41 Action News.